United States is the only advanced economy with no paid parental leave for either mothers or fathers. A new book is raising questions about balancing fatherhood in the workplace. It's called All In, How Our Work First Culture Fails Dads, Families, and Businesses, and How We Can Fix It Together. Here to tell us more about his new book, Just in Time for Father's Day, author Josh Levs. Good to see you. It's so good to see you yeah, again. It's been, yeah. it's been a while since you've <laughs> It's been a while. This, this is really interesting. Uh, why did you write this book? Because I started to realize through my own experience in covering fatherhood that this is a huge problem not just for dads, but it is a big problem for dads, but it's also a huge problem for women in, the, in this country, that these misconceptions about fatherhood, this belief that dads aren't capable, that we're not involved, that we would come home at the end of the day, kick up our feet and do absolutely nothing. Right. These images are still out there and really strong, and they're behind the problems you were just talking about. All of our structures are designed to keep pushing women to stay home, keep pushing men to stay in the office all the time, and it's bad for families. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, you know, what are some of the things that you think people aren't aware of, aside from that, right. when it comes to fatherhood? I, I know we've talked about this before. You know, I choose to go to work and go home. Go mm -hmm. to work. I don't do a lot of social things. That's my choice because oh, yeah. I want to spend time with family. Oh, yeah. You know, and when I first uh, started on air at CNN, I organized a position for myself in which I wouldn't travel because it's a right. similar idea. Uh -huh. And all these things are really important to dads these days. So some of the things that surprise people uh, were uh, dads who work spend an average of three hours every work day with our kids. Virtually all dads who live with our kids clothe them, bathe them, feed them, take care of them every single day of the week sure. or at the very least several days a week. Also, another thing that's getting some attention in this book is that uh, black dads are doing the best of all within that category. Now, and that that's one because society, mm -hmm. we don't, totally right. we portray it mm -hmm. as this, that's not the case. No, it's the, for, yeah. by far the majority of black men who live with their kids are extremely involved, even more so than on average others. What, what do you think, other than that, are yeah. some other things that you've seen, some changes about fatherhood in society that you've seen as a dad and that you've seen in your research and the work on this book. Yeah, so what happened was, well, with me, I faced some discrimination and I had to stand up against this discriscriminatory policy. Mm -hmm. And when I did this, uh, but it was a discriminatory decision by Time Warner, they ended up revolutionizing their policy over there. Okay. So what I learned through my experience is that these policies that are still pushing men to stay at work, like punishing men if they take time off, because mm -hmm. that's not the traditional manly thing to do, really powerful stories that you're able to read about here. What I learned is that when companies start to learn the facts mm -hmm. and start to discover that embracing dads as dads mm -hmm. is actually really good for business. Right. It makes them long-term employees more loyal, happier, more productive. Yeah. And it helps deal with these issues of equality. It helps get more women into positions of power when you're allowing men the chance to stay home. Now, I want to get one question in. We've got about 30 seconds. You're a veteran TV guy, so you can do this in 30 seconds. Okay, I try. understand you actually delivered one of your own kids at home? Is yeah. that true? Not on purpose. <laughs> yeah. My, with my <laughs> I don't care if it's on purpose. You did it. <laughs> I know. It didn't matter how you did it. <laughs> yeah, with my second kid, uh, he and my wife conspired to skip labor altogether. My wife fell to the floor in our bedroom, and he started coming out, and he wasn't breathing for the first 90 seconds, but oh at least not obviously. And I, But I knew to unwrap the umbilical cord, and I figured out what to do, and now he's perfect. Wow. That's the, I did that in 30 seconds. You I did. Totally Actually, that you, you. We, you saved 10 seconds so I can say goodbye to you. Everybody buy all in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my website, joshlevs.com. J-O-S-H-L-E-V-S.com. Perfect for Father's Day and all year round. There you go. See? You save yourself 10 seconds. Don't plug your book. <laughs> Josh, it's good to see you. Congratulations and happy Father's Day. Thank you. Happy Father's it's Day. Good to see you.